Excuse me, honey. I'm not done questioning your client. Now, Brad, dead bodies and every shred of evidence in an ongoing murder investigation don't just get up and walk away. So you tell me, did you put Henry and Katie up to this? No, I didn't. I'll swear on a stack of Bibles. Give me a search warrant for Henry Coleman's room. Right away. What about Katie? I will deal with no, this. No, 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 listen. Go, no. Marco, Katie had nothing to do with this. I made a promise not to help me. Jack, I want you to cross-check the sign-in sheet and the surveillance video. I want a positive ID of anyone coming and going from the evidence room or the morgue. You got it. I know you will conduct a complete investigation, but in the meantime, you have no legal right to hold my client in jail. Oh, no? Looks like Brad is in even deeper trouble. I mean, tampering with evidence on a major scale like that, that's going to be pretty hard to defend, even for you. Well, you don't have any proof that he had any involvement in this whatsoever. In fact, you have no proof against Brad at all. I'm serious, Margot. Let him go. Jack, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I have to ask you, did you have anything to do with that evidence going missing? I, I'm not, I'm not covering that for my brother, Margo. I, I swear, and I know that doesn't mean much, but I swear I learned from my mistakes. Right, I'm sorry, I just, I had to ask. I you understand, just, believe yes, me. Yes, for, the, for the love of Mike, would someone please tell me how a dead body and evidence locked in a secure facility can vanish into thin air? What the hell is going on around here? Anybody home? I'm home. Brad? Oh, my God. That's so incredible. How? Margo dropped the charges. I'm a free man. 